Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Darkest Hour mod for Hearts of Iron Forum host, Mr. FDR Top Hat Lover. We're going to talk about war plans. Division. The world and its geopolitics are ever-changing. Contingencies and plans need to be prepared for every and any unforeseen scenario. And a special meeting of the Joint Army and Navy Board. A number of plans were brought out and discussed in the interest of America and accordingly. It has been decided to further these initial deliberations and conduct organized studies and properly record the so formed plans. The studies would include color-coded plans specific to the numerous points of friction throughout the world in regards to various possible theaters of conflicts which may emerge throughout the world. And in the rarest case, the U.S. may inadvertently pull, be pulled into one of them, and hence pre-planning is, is of the essence, or is of essence. European, Pacific, Rainbow Plans. Um, so we are doing that one. We, none of these are unlocked yet. Of course, it's only December 1st, 1936. So let's go with uh, the American Theater. Oh, sure, why not? Why not? As we're still, well, we're not slowly losing money, but we're we're losing money now. We have the European Theater 2, we have the Pacific Theater, but we've got quite a few comments to go through as well, such as. Fun fact, there were concepts of helicopters during World War II on the German side of the war. Let's say if that was actually, you know, realized, that'd be quite interesting, and yes. Yes, it would be. Anything else for research for 1936? That's almost 1937. Railway guns? Sure, why not? Um, someone says, can you imagine having the ability to elect Huey Long in the newest update, or the next updates? Yes, cool. Oh, there's another comment saying that all these white blocks are just because I don't have DirectX 11. Or, I mean, I'm using DirectX 11, I think. But because we're using Direct, we're not using DirectX 9, if I remember correctly. So, another comment is, a German playthrough in this model would be interesting. And I completely agree. Yes, it would. Abdication of Edward 8. Love that. Yeah, uh, the white box bug can be fixed by switching DirectX 9 eventually. Um, I, someone says, I played that Hoi 2 version of it, and it does indeed look very, very good. I played, what was it, Darkest Hour, Hearts of Iron game, you know, or Hearts of, Hearts of Iron 2. I played way too much of that mod um, in high school, and that's why I wasn't very social my senior year. But anyways, so instead, play as America and Hoi 4, Victory of the Dual Monarchy, which is a mod I've not touched in quite a while, actually. Uh, here, go to that one next. The American Theater. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, we have to wait till March, basically, until the president gets elected, because that was changed eventually, historically, but whatever. Um, let's see. Let's see. Someone else says, the new deal is overrated, but I still love Big Daddy FDR, though. Someone says, what Hearts of Iron Format is this? This is Darkest Hour. Um, someone else was asking about the new deal. Cool. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Um, let's see. We have to wait till March. And European Theater, Pacific Theater, the Rainbow Plans, of course. And of course, we're going to go the third. Oh, oh, now it's January. Okay, surely things will just go fine, right? Yay! President Roosevelt's first term policies and legislation were dominated by his promises of a new deal for the American people. Due to his nature, Roosevelt followed through, of course I read this earlier, uh, on these words, passed into law, effective bills, and proposals in the first and second new deals. Now this mandate renewed, and the American people's absolute confidence a third new deal is well on its way, more liberal in substance than the past two. A third stage of legislation will prove to be more difficult to enact in the law, but hopefully it's well worth the fight. So we'll see. Um, no guarantees, of course, but that is the hope that we have. Uh, that will do well. And my goodness, hopefully we won't do too badly here. Like World Plan 10 is at war. Oh, attacking defense bonus. Oh, some guys visiting Germany. Must be a nice time to visit this year. Veterans calm by payments. Oh, of my cement published. It seems that the recent passing of the Adjusted Compensation Payment Act has, both literally and figuratively, paid off. The same veterans who were protesting in the streets of D.C. in 32 because they cannot claim what they was rightfully owed can now begin to withdraw money that will surely help them in these challenging times. As with millions of across the country, the veterans found themselves in the darkest pit or dark pit of unemployment, without the ability to redeem cash from their service of certificates service certificates until 1948. Anger culminated in the protest scene in 1932, which ended with the army dissolving the demonstration. The Great Depression still bears hard down or down hard on our nation, so uh, the threat of this happening again was high, which has led Congress to act dis decide to act decisively. Um, the passing of the Adjusted Compensation Payment Act. It is not surprising, as we hold both chambers of Congress, leading to a mar large majority in favor of this. Payments will now begin to roll out across the nation, which could total up to $2 billion. As for the veterans, they seem to be most pleased. They fought and won the Great War, and now they seem to have won a war with the federal government over the bonuses. This must be a lesson that all veterans of any conflict must we fight and must be treated fairly by all. A good ending to the situation. Yeah. Not a bad ending, we'll put it like that. Just because that didn't look so good for the previous president, as it didn't. Oh! Okay, so the focus tree changes, too. That's kind of cool, I like that. To a degree. Yeah, so actually, it did change, or it replaced what we had earlier, and then went down here. Better a third termer than a third raider. There's no indispensable man. Wilkie. That's cool. Create housing authority. Or market Pacific power. Farm Security Administration. Let's sell them first. The FSA is a reorganization of the Resettlement Administration and the Federal Emergency Relief 
administration. Laws well, directives to combat rural poverty. Figuring how to do that best is more difficult. Rural rehabilitation tactics include purchasing sub-marginal land owned by poor farmers and increasing education and literature opportunities. Continuing the groundbreaking photography program should also be a priority. Showing the plot of the forgotten American class toiling away on their downtrodden farms to the rest of the American people and the entire globe, of course. Got almost all those reciprocal deals done. Enact war plan black. Just we didn't be at war with these guys. Well, the great depression is still raging on. Oh, we're not gonna blow that up. Thirty percent, thirty and a half percent unemployment. My goodness. Desperately, 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 trying to get out of this sinkhole. Um, I might have to raise taxes here, which I don't want to do, because that hurts us quite badly. Or we could slash stuff here, but well, it's not costing us very much at all. Military spending. Um, use so much organization. Cost per feet of battalion. Now, honestly, it's only social spending that would we would do. And even then, I'm not I don't, I'm not going to lose political power right now. So, Wait, is this minus minus 100% total income zero? Well, bad word. West Coast Hotel Coburst Parish. Oh. Wait, what was the Lochner era? I forget. I saw this several times. Uh, industrial Research, 1937, please. Yes. Output, 5%. Weekly Manpower, plus 20. Ooh, Consumer Goods, minus 1. Agricultural Chemistry. Yes, please. We might have to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want any inflation. We could get rid of civil liberties. Repress the system. Totalitarian system. You get more political power. You get 10% more recruitable population factor, which I don't understand. Totalitarian system? Why would you get more of that? Eh, whatever. <coughs> Ooh, railway guns. I like those. And... 65 days. Holy crap. Uh, mar uh, Pacific market Pacific power. Access to electricity remains one of the biggest differentiators between urban and rural areas. Since expanding wires and electric poles into rural areas is an unprofitable activity due to utility costs, only few of them uh, exist. To remedy this situation, the Bonneville Power Project is a hydroelectric project in the Columbia River that would guarantee full access to electricity in at least nine states of the Pacific Northwest at the same cost that ur uh, of uh, urban areas. This agency will only be temporary until a full regional power authority can be established. Promoting rural electrification will increase the profits of the farms and improve the infrastructure of the West Coast. Create a housing authority. Even before the Great Depression, low-income families and their homeless were suffering from poor living conditions that affected their quality of life and the chance for, this for success. According to the classic progressive theory, improvement of the situation of poor citizens will very likely also improve their social behavior and their economic contribution to society. Created as a result of the Housing Act proposed by Senator Wagner and Representative Stiegel, the United States Housing Authority is going to be an agency dedicated to lending money to the states to finance low-cost public housing projects. The provision of safe sanitary dwellings for families with low income will not only reduce crime but also help combat unemployment. Work with what we have. The President's Third New Deal initiatives are quite liberal, and despite the proven effectiveness of his past policies, resistance from opposition politicians, both within the party and outside of it, remains strong. To maintain what momentum we do have, we must put our judicial reform bill on the chopping block. It's simply that it's not smart to expend all of our money and time on a controversial piece of legislation that may not even pass. It's mightily unfortunate, but if we want the rest of the President's agenda to have a more hope and hell passed in through the Congress Senate, we must make it the sacrifice, instead of packing the court, which I think FDR wanted to do, and we could do, but... I'm trying to remain somewhat... Um, historical. Regulate the aeronautics industry. America's civilian aircraft industry has grown organically since Wilbur and Wright took the first flight from Kitty Hawk. And while Wilbur, Orville, of course, while his growth has landed us the largest civilian fleet in the world, it's a massive bureaucratic mess. Air mail lines, extended passenger demands, transatlantic traffic all leads to a patchwork of air, like, airports, pilots, and aircraft vying for the space above North America. Introducing the Civilian Aeronautics Act to regulate and develop air transportation will start the process of peeking through the muck. Uh, it'll bolster our national defense at a particularly tense time in global politics while encouraging further widening of our domestic and international commerce in the skies. Loans to the private sectors? Might as well. We have more money, though, just because we have more inflation now. Um, I took out uh, issued currency and stuff, so. Loans to the private sector. Well, once we get this one done first, of course. Uh, I'll get more fuel. We don't, we don't need that. We'll still do it because we can. Uh... <laughs> the Great Depression has crippled the ability of a private citizen to invest in and to save, as the banks contain their savings closed and the shares they had invested in turned worthless overnight. The private sector has died out in the severe crisis the country is experiencing. Neither the private citizen can fund it, nor can it provide job opportunities opportunities to revive it. There's a need for an influx of cash and capital that can be used to further the sector. Invested back into the national economy in infinitely possible ways. With the President and the Congress's approval, the federal government will be releasing a massive financial package with more than its fair share of subsidies and loans earmarked to bring back the private sector on its own two feet. And more of that stuff. Nice. 
Of course, there's 1938 already. Austria is now gone. Um, Czechoslovakia, you're probably on a chopping block. In the future, the Wisconsin Progressive Party, expand the party. No compromise on progressive vision. Progressive party. Merge the party. And Minnesota, farmer labor. Progressive. I don't know which one's historical. Um, farmer, progressive laborer. That's a merger party. I, I don't know if that's a struggle enough, so... Let's look. Lobby for progressive support. Pro oh, they just call progressive party anyways. Okay, then. Um, I did issue currency because now we have more inflation, but we, we, we really need the money. Oh my gosh, we really need the money. I do not want to go into debt yet, so... I mean, a little political power and stuff, but whatever. Progressive farmer labor merger. Progressive labor party. Successor of the Bull Moose and will be known as such. Bull Moose Party? God, I want to do that one, but we'll do that one for now. Bloods and Lancet in LA. Through the proposal. Lose money. It'd be too expensive. Seems like more circle. Up. We're going to go with it. Be too expensive. Um, so now we have 0.7% inflation. Yay. How great. My goodness. I must suck living in America during this time. Um, is China? Oh, they're still at war. Well, this mod's still in beta, so. It's literally an open beta, so. That's fine. Other torpedo bombers? Uh, which one do we have? Curtis. Fighter bombers 36 is attack craft 30 something. Attack craft 36, I mean. Along with the private sector, because we won't get to that one. And reciprocal stuff is all done. <coughs> Mirava is a neutrality act. One of America's political traditions is keeping the country outside of foreign affairs. They don't involve the continent. Recent times with the rise of totalitarian regimes have demonstrated that maintaining this tradition is not an option, but with the trauma of the Great War still present, the American population remains hostile to any kind of significant involvement in other nations. Fortunately, you find a way to work around that. With the war in Spain raging on, the recent neutrality act proposed by the Republicans forbids the sale of weapons and the transport of U.S. citizens to countries in conflict. But thanks to a provision we'd added, we are allowed to transport raw materials and supplies to the belligerent nations on Europe. This will allow us to support those democracies under the threat of fascism without alienating the population. At least, that's hope. So, we'll see. April, how's the French Republic looking? Pierre, Stanley Baldwin. Like Robert, 1938. No helicopters for now. Nothing here, really, I think. Heavy aircraft. I mean, we could. I mean, heavy bombers, sure, why not? Probably, probably want to focus more on artillery and whatnot. Anglo Irish agreements. All right. Still losing about. Actually, that's not bad. 14. 14 is not too bad. Of course, we have war plan divisions like we saw earlier, but it doesn't really do very much. Unemployment is only 25%. We'll see. Ethiopian Empire looks really sad. Very, very, very sad, actually. Who leads Mexico? United Mexican States. Abelardo. Abelardo. Mackenzie King. The French Republic. UK. Egypt. Farouk. That happy guy. It's not Louis Armstrong. China being giant. They have deflation, huh? Incompetent NRA. And Wampoa clique. What's, what's going on in Japan? Fumi Maro Kano. Konoe. They got a whole lot of things here. Wow. And yeah, we're almost done with our naval auction. Yay! We haven't even lost money now, probably. Yay, minus 38. How, how great. Implement uh, fair labor standards. In order to further abound from the crushing depths of the Great Depression, making sure workers are paid and employed fairly will provide another layer of stability in the employment sector. The Labor Department has come up with an agenda, the Fair Labor Standards Act, which will create a model for working conditions. These effects include a standard minimum wage, time and a half pay for overtime, and most importantly, removing minors from the oppressive child labor system. This will be cornerstone of future labor law and will give laborers pride and prestige in their job. Of course, don't we get money from just having cities. Modified by minus 55%, which sucks. Yeah, the cost of everything is just so much. Taxes, consumer goods factories, so. Do not include income, but it's about to total of income. Unused. So, I guess technically we can make money if we don't use any civvies. Which feels very weird. Better how it's So, let's take a look. 
So we got rid of these three. Let's say we get rid of that one. Can we make any more money? Unused civvies. 0.7. Well, that's not really worth it. We could get rid of that one. Three civilian factories, but we need money. So if we do that... Let's say we do that one too. Because it affects us that much. Honestly, you might as well just keep using it and abusing it if you possibly can. What happened in July, everybody? Our Spanish Republic still exists. Yeah, it's not very historical now. How's Stalin doing? Huh. Agricultural stuff, five year plan fulfilled. This ethos. Deficient economy. Oh boy. High agricultural employment. Oh boy. Final phase of the decoc. The Cossackization. Aftermath of the Ryotin Affair. The Great Soviet Famine. That's great. Like, no manpower, too, but whatever. And it looks like we need to issue more currency. Yay, more inflation. Molotov, Ribbon Trap, back to sign, huh? Cash and carry provisions. Okay. Well, what does that one do? Send fighters. Send it to China. We need heavy weapons. Any more world tension? What the heck are heavy weapons? Is it railway guns? Artillery? Nothing says heavy. Marks. Super heavy battleship. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't even customize these. Oh, that's a little different. Now that's interesting. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna start making these in. I thought I wanted to wait to make them just because, like, I thought we could edit them. Douglas Devastator. Uh, more arty stuff. Anti tank, anti air. I might ignore that stuff for now. 36. M2 lights. Managing bankruptcy. We're in a catastrophic economic situation. We've taken too many loans so that our interest rates are higher than our current income. We'll change that within the next zero weeks while we declare ourselves bankrupt. Uh, what? Oh. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Well, it looks like we gotta raise taxes then. Right? Current loans are zero. Current income zero. Well, don't wanna do this, but we gotta lower spending somehow. Expenses, inflation. Oh, go higher. Other. Minus 105%. Uh, I don't think really America's supposed to be played yet. Um, heavy bombers, torpedo bombers. Heavy bombers, eh? Heavies. Well, why is it so high? Some of the consumer goods. Why is it 100 minus 100 percent? What is the other? Like seriously, inflation sucks. Expenses and inflation. New labor standards minus six percent. Managing menacing bankruptcy. This is uh, reorganized executive. There's been a major plan reorganization of the executive branch since the creation in 1787, nearly 150 years ago. However, the modern presidency and the U.S. as it exists today uh, must be able to adapt to change quickly. The Reorganization Act of 1939 will do this, granting the president the authority to hire additional confidential staff while allowing reorganizations of the government's branch staff. Oh, look at that. While some may say this will limit the influence of the cabinet and cast a shadow on the executive. Oh, what the heck? Come on, game. Uh, privilege. The act does come with certain limits and all adjustments are subject to the legislative vetoes. This should allow the president more breathing room in government evolution in terms of policy. 
I'm going to tax the hell out of the people to do this. It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Oh, heavy weapons. These are heavy weapons. Okay. Bars and Stokes mortars. Okay, that makes sense then. Make agreement then. Which support guns. Small arms. Oh, well. There you go. And... And now we're done with the naval doctrine. Send fighters? Can we sell fighters? They accept? We'll roll the planes over the border? Helps slightly. Deflation measures? Ensure system integrity. Rumors have come to our attention that members of a party using the alphabet agency to push on political careers. Several local Democratic politicians in swing states like Kentucky and Pennsylvania have been caught in a scheme. I had to be consulted on works of progress administrators and caseworkers before they were hired, some officials. Uh, took patronage and political contributions in return for employment in the agency. While an official investigation has been found inconclusive findings, we decided to push forward with the Hatch Act which will prevent all employees from the executive branch, minus the president and vice president, from engaging in any form of political activity. We must maintain good governance, especially in these dark times. Outcome of private sector loans. The executive office of the president. The president of the United States needs help. He's like any other mortal man, needs the proper support structure in place he's going to govern effectively. In the past, presidents were hamstrung by this lack of support. Their administrations could never fulfill their potential. This must change immediately if the president Roosevelt's administration and any future ones are to succeed. By establishing the executive office of the president, order will be brought to the White House. Uh, and the necessary foundation for any great government will be put in place. Are we actually finally making money now? So arbitrary, it seems like. I, I, I'm just wrong. I'm just completely wrong. Like, what is going on here? Is it just because of the unemployment? That's probably, that's it. That's probably it. I'm going to have to tax the hell to at least make money. That's not good. All right, so we gotta wait. So Pacific Theater, I guess. And then Rainbow Plans. There's that too. We have zero percent war support. Makes sense. And if we make enough money, I'm gonna start paying off some of this inflation, or get rid of inflation, or something like that. You don't pay off inflation; you get rid of it. Standing army. Militia base just armed. Oh, income minus 78%. Well, when does this expire? March 12th of this year. So in less than a month, which is good. Oh, Germany's getting thick. Virtual theories. Oh, sound like fun. Read from the Monroe Doctrine. Leave them to their own devices. Well, we'll probably uh, read from the Monroe Doctrine. Happy 39 everybody. Aid. We need more heavy weapons. We need heavy weapons in general. What's this? M2 light tanks. Executive reorganization is done, which is good. And then, of course, we'll do this one. Followed up probably the Federal Security Agency. <coughs> it's been RFC. Man, we just don't want to make any money at all. 
Federal Works Agency. As part of the first ever planned reorganization of the executive branch of the government of the U.S. since 1787, various federal agencies and institutions are being clubbed into the fewer but larger catch-all agencies, pursuant to the recently enacted reorganization plans authorized by the Reorganization Act. The Federal Works Agency, FWA, will act as an independent agency of the federal government of the U.S., administering a number of public works constructions, building maintenance, and public works relief functions and laws. At the present, due to the economic conditions of the country, as the mission will be expanded, it will construct public works, such as parks, water treatment systems, roads, and buildings, and employ the unemployed to construct such works, and issue loans and grants to regional authorities, states, can counties, localities for the construction of public works on the lines for providing, providing w fair work to the citizens of America. Anti-tank weapons? Sure. It's a little bit ahead of time there. And when Thompson's... So, you're going to set at the top here. Heavy weapons. Heavy weapons. Here are the medium bomber 36. Torpedo bombers. Medium bombers. We have double convoys right now. We don't need that. Medium bombers, 20, 33. 33, and we'll go there too. Expand the RFC. In 1932, Eugene Meyer, a member of the Federal Reserve Board for Governors, suggested the formation of a unite, organized an organization modeled on the lines of U.S. War Finance Corporation of the Great War. The suggestion was accepted and recommended by the then President Hoover Hoover. The organization formed with the Reconstruction Finance Corporation, a government corporation administered by the U.S. Uh, federal government. Its stated purpose is to provide financial state support to the state and local governments and made loans to banks, railroads, mortgage associations, associations, and other businesses. Among the sweeping reforms President Roosevelt is carrying out as part of the New Deal, he has issued a directive to assert the RFC by expanding it. Its scope will be expanded and will include helping in economic recovery by taking proactive measures to boost the country's confidence and help the banks, many of which are struggling in resuming daily functions. Cash and care provisions expire. And the Federal Security Agency. President FDR signed in the Reorganization Plan Number 1 of 1939. Under the authority of the Reorganization Act of 1939, the reorganization plan is designed to reduce the number of agencies reporting directly to the president by clubbing several smaller organizations directly under a single management that can better assess the resources and ensure a more judicious uh, use of resources. The reorganization plan will care the Federal Security Agency, including in the FSA will be the Social Security Board, the U.S., Public Health Service, the Food and Drug Administration, the Civilian Conservation Corps, the Office of Education, the National Youth Administration, and a number of several smaller other agencies. And now we've gone ahead and finished off almost the U.S. Navy. But we get the Vincent Trammell Act. Docket output, 5%, not bad. And of course, end the arms embargo right now. Also, I will let you know it's 1940. World War II has just barely started. I had to uh, basically tab over to the German Reich. And then, oh, look at that. Oh, it's yellow. Um, force them to basically do Czechoslovakia. Was it Munich Diktat or Diktat? Force them to do that and then force them to go to war with Poland. So right now it's 1940. And there's actually some action on the border, which they actually broke through Hagen now. Uh... How did they break through? Okay, well, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question things. But end the arms embargo. Clouds of war loom all over Europe. It, is, it won't matter who is responsible for firing the first shot. The con continent seems to be at the dawn of another conflict. But this time the stakes are too high. Extremist movements have sprouted and matured all over Europe, and it seems to be motivated to destroy and uproot the democratic way of life, wherever it still stands. The U.S. has the global responsibility of preserving peace and democracy. It must help the democracies of Europe in their fight against extremism. While our domestic policies may prevent the president to directly intervene in the war, Bottom material aid should be made available to all countries, being Europe or Asia in the fight against extremist aggressors. Because at this point, I might be a little bit too, too late to start really researching more, getting more ships, so. My bad. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, our navy's not very good right now. Well, maybe we should have built up a bigger navy. Oh, well, we need some more. We need, we need more of everything, really. We need, we need to make some factories. My goodness. We need some millies. Well, looks like we're going to be doing this now. And the arms embargo, a uh, food stamp plan. With the British appeal for more aid and supplies, and ever-increasing probability that our peace-loving country would be pulled unwilling to the global conflict, currently raging across Europe and Asia, critical resources need to be converted or conserved. Any day, our factories may be ordered to switch over production from tractors to tanks, a war industry requires several materials that are taken for granted during the times of peace. Our government has issued necessary directives to the suitable authorities to begin planning for a massive food stamp program or system to be implemented across the country for the preservation of food stocks and other necessary resources. Right. Well, we're still doing okay on money. We actually, uh, I guess we're doing war propaganda, which is also very good. We did lower the inflation to nothing now. So we actually make a little bit of money for now, but we'll see how long it lasts. Um, can we see any volunteers, actually? No. Which is not allowed to. Oh, general government's over here. Uh, 
No, they're still fine around here. Turn to cash and carry. All right. Send aid to France. Offers weapons. War plan divisions, of course, 18%. Rainbow plans. I uh, probably don't want to blow it yet. Plane support. Send aid to Spain. Well, send aid to the French. They decline. Whoa. Spain? No, they're not at war. Whatever. New threats to the world. Oh, crap. Sargo class? Sub, Tether Cruisers, Light Cruiser Destroyers. Carry base attack aircraft. Fighters. And subs. Well. Um. Promises of peace. No, we're good. No, we're quite good. Um, yeah, new theater's threats of the world. Oh, they're fighting down here too. I'm surprised Germany's not been able to push further through here. Since they pushed through the first line, you think they'd be able to push through the second line too, but you know, I guess not. There goes the Danes. Mostly. This is really a really flat view. Holy cow. At least for one steal. Well, let's see how fast they can move through here. That's Luxembourg. Interesting lines are made. So, might get some okay money. War propaganda might as well at this point. We need as much war support as possible. Um, early mobilization. Can we actually go to that? We lose political power, though. Their speed goes up by 10%. Get some more consumer goods. Not bad. It's kind of worth it, I'd say. Volunteer only when your mandatory service. Training time goes down. Um... School of Defense. It's got Psychology. Uh, probably Douglas MacArthur. Can we go to part, mo Partial Mobilization? Yeah, at this point, we'll go Partial. We can't go to War Economy, but, you know, whatever. Could use more stability. Now it's looking not too bad. Could be looking better, but whatever. Uh, where are we at for this? 18%. Well, new threats to the world, I guess. We in the Manhattan Project. USAS. Ooh. New food stamps. Alright, well, let's get this one done first. And they'll read about expand the USA. US ACE. The United States Army Corps of Engineers is the overall parent organization of the engineering assets of the US Army. And are primarily involved in military construction, occasional occasionally civilian works as well. The combat engineers are an invaluable asset to the Army, but at the current peacetime are mainly involved in construction and maintenance of military facilities. Better put them to use. That has been decided to utilize this highly trained and skilled workforce to aim at governmental construction projects and finish them up considerably faster. That'd be good. That'd be very good, actually. Bureau of Ships. Oh, can you actually train divisions? Oh, look at that. Yeah, so these, I mean, we don't have a lot of divisions. I'm more worried about the Navy. The divisions that we have, though, like these guys, they're thick as all heck. They have any support artillery, which is weird. Why are they maintenance companies? Artillery would be better, but whatever. And these marines are just too thin. Same to San Diego for now, too. So now we get 40-ish. No, they're taking a while to try to get through here, too. Germany's really struggling. Getting up Hungary, Romania. There's still a war, too. The conflict's really hard in this mod. I don't know. Still going up though. Well, we're trying to get super battleships. 
Speed of bombers, carrier based fighters. Oh, National Convention, alright. Fighters, what else? Attack aircraft. Torpedo bombers. Do we have any torpedo bombers? We've got one, two. Oh, there you go. Weird, but okay. Italy's doing better than Germany. They actually broke through them. That was the Ethiopian Empire. They're really stuck in the Netherlands. Holy crap. Germany's struggling so much. How is Italy doing so well? Did Italy send, like... Or did Germany send all the, like their divisions to Italy? Oh! Oh, yeah, maybe they did. That's Germany now. So instead of going through the, the, the Lola countries, or the Benelux, they're just going to go through Italy. You know, now that seems like it could stop, too. These guys never went to war, which is fine, whatever. But okay. Not bad here. Even though we could really use more dockyards. And there they go. Well, they're still expanding that way. We got him. We could probably send an attaché. We got plenty of political power for now. Let's see what's going on now. Oh, they're doing well because none of their army is here. Why is Germany so weak? The French look pretty darn weak too. Yeah, they literally just have done a division on the border. That's why Germany's doing so well in some some cases. Uh, began the Manhattan Project. Baltimore class. Heavy cruisers. Oh, so these are heavies. All right, capital ships. You lost Ethiopia, but you got North Af parts of North Africa. Holy crap. Paris has already fallen. They've still not capitulated. This is... Different. These actually were able to push back here. FDR is indispensable. Era Cobra. Um, where is it? Yeah, we can't even make anything, man. They can defend the Benelux very well. Even taking a little small, looks like a small portion of Germany itself. No, not not yet. But Jesus, what the heck? That Tasha did not give us that much army XP. Dang it. Military construction program? At this point, might as well. I mean, selective training act? Louisiana maneuvers? U.S. Army? Oh, what is this? We're all already trained. Now we're good. We're good. U.S. Army. The U.S. Army is a branch of the U.S. Armed Forces responsible for its ground and airborne assets. With the country entered in the Great War, the Selective Service of Act of 1917 was enacted to expand the Army through conscription. Subsequent end of the conflict led to the decreased strength of the Army. Today, dark clouds zoom all over Europe and Asia. And civilian tensions to threaten Europe, while Japan's sun is rising all over the Pacific. In all cases, despite neutrality, involuntarily, we may be will put in, pull into a conflict the likes of which the world has never seen. The U.S. Army historically has never been a particularly strong one. The British have had the Battle of Waterloo, the Germans the Battle of, or, of Sedan, and the French the Battle of Austerlitz. The U.S.'s armies Limited experience include fighting its own countrymen, a few embarrassing battles in Mexico, and a few battles near the end of the Great War. The presidents asked Edward Burke and James Wadsworth to begin drafting the Selective Training and Service Act to allow for further first time ever. Priest time conscription in the United States of America. And there goes them. Well, alright then.
Wow. I was not expecting Italy to take any of that. So much rallying Vichy France. Oh well. Actually, can I send you guys an attaché? Might as well. They'll still get a lot of uh, experience, hopefully. Oh, now they're cleaning them up. Nice. Manhattan Project. Ooh, U.S. Army and they'll do the military construction program. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I need more war support, too. No. We actually have a carrier again. Yay, but we don't have any planes. God dang it. I don't want to lower anything that we have currently because we're going to need them all. And there goes Belgium. Probably quickly followed by the Netherlands. Strange George, man. Italy's not doing too bad right now. Oh. Wow. I do like that German flag, though. Well. Oh, the Germans have landed too here. We don't have a lot. The divisions we do have are generally okay ish. Like training amid growing, amidst growing tensions. The United States must be prepared in the event of a global war. Upon the shifting ties, just a giant, lightly dozing, but sleep, slowly opening its eyes. First piece of conscription in American history has just been enacted. Expected to bring an additional 900,000 soldiers into the Army. All eligible men between the age of 21 and 45 are subject to the draft, ensuring that we have a strong manpower reserve in the event of open warfare. Despite growing complaints, this act has been uh, met with little resistance, with primarily pacifist factions opposing their acts. However, in the instant, it is America's job to hold global democracy, and thus it shall do so. And stay the steady hand of objection. The act includes a clause regarding conscientious objection along any system to deny military service for religious or medical reasons if they are if they are if any are present. Thus, while subscription has been implemented in the United States, our army shall remain that of volunteers, ensuring the liberty of Americans as well as those foreigners we design dying to protect. Let's hope we need to employ such reserves. Unified High Command at war, form the OSS. So I guess next up Louisiana maneuvers. Probably prepare to federalize the National Guard. The United States Army has, it, since its inception, been in small and times conflicts, and no small numbers of the regular army were supplemented by the state militias. After the Militia Act of 1903, the state militias were organized into the National Guard, which assumed the roles and duties of the state militias. Today, despite repeated American declarations of neutrality and despite our attempts to promote and foster peace, it seems that our country would most likely be involuntarily drawn into a conflict. The U.S. Army is after, uh, is after much hesitancy. Finally, being expanded and reformed, but for all intents and purposes, the National Guard remains the general reserve of the army and must be prepared to be activated as soon as possible. These mutual exclusive base goes down. Holy crap! Cap. Um, you know what? Who cares about the small cereal production? Parallel production. Uh, let's all drink to Wilkie. The country still needs FDR. He still needs him. Um, you know the cap goes down. The base goes up by twenty percent. You get more output, but you get more cap. The base goes lower, but you get even higher cap. So let's go with that one. They so, still really like us. Par Wait, what? New Congress elected Parliament election. Oh. Well, we don't have Parliament. Now I wonder how the USSR is going to hold against these guys. Well, I guess I'll have to wait and see. No better a third termer than a third raider. Oh wow, we're really mobilizing a lot, aren't we? Keep making more. We didn't even make a single factory yet, have we? My god, it takes so long to build these things up. Getting rid of the aftermath of Black Thursday is so important. Soak the rich.
Well, Italy is doing quite well. Of course, the Germans are too. Ooh, Ethiopian Empire is coming back. They sent most of their soldiers, eh? Oh, I guess we're done with the training too. Well, maybe not. How many uh, naval leaders do we have? Why are you wearing a Stahlhelm? Is that George Bush? That's got to be George Bush. What the heck? Whatever. Don't really need new leaders. More attack? Sure, why not? Mobile defense. Aircraft carrier research speed. Refitting repair speed is probably best. Refitting repair, yeah. Rocket already, anti air. Fighters. Well, we can't do anything down there yet, so we'll do prepare to nationalize, federalize those guys too. Battleships of 1940. It's over here too. Wow. Well, it's over 1940. Expand the Pacific defenses. The Bureau of Ships, not bad. I like that a lot. But it's 35 days, which is not too bad actually. I actually want to do that one. Let's air support. Nice. Fighters, torpedo bombers, um, the Bureau of Ships. Well, we'll probably do that one next. It's pretty useful. Bureau of Ordnance, definitely not. Surprise attacks. Communication, visibility goes down, nighttime attacking, plus combat. Third inauguration. Oh. Uh, better third term than nothing else. Well. Yeah. Hopefully we can rush through and start saying stuff. God dang, this sucks. Okay, so we can... Re prepare to shift the economy for war fooling? Well, we already did. Use more war propaganda to instability. Call the National Guard. Sure. Following several years of military buildup, we find ourselves lagging behind an active duty soldier for the U.S. Army. That changes now. Through the historically, the National Guard has fought for individual states. The recent early classification as members of the U.S. Army, in addition to their state roles, prepares to make that final decision central as military. As of today, 400,000 members of the National Guard have been called up to report to their units, effectively doubling the size of the U.S. Army. 18 divisions of various other forces have federalized for service in this time of national emergency. Rifles are only as good in firing it, thus we cannot subsist on industry alone. These hundreds of thousands of trained men will vastly expand the fighting capabilities of the Army, ensuring that we will not have to resort to deploying reserves for quite some time. Let us hope we need in such reserves. Here's a 21 combat width, which is kind of awkward. And you're 8. Not very useful, are you? You guys are 42. Hopefully that doesn't drain our... Oh, that does drain our money a little bit more. Yeah, he's military factories, military spending. I guess we're in a huge one, especially if we don't have to go to war with Japan. Do we have to go to war with Japan? I don't know. I don't want to get rid of these divisions. I just don't know. It's 1941 already. Well, 
Well, if you have to, we can delete these divisions. They're pretty thick. I don't like these divisions at all. What do we get rid of those guys? Doesn't help us at all. Darn it. Oh, they have Lemberg, huh? I like to see how the AI is trying to manage all this debt and whatnot. They're on a one year mandatory with half a million manpower ish. Arsenal democracy. We're gonna shift economy to war footing. I'm gonna guess. Oh wow. Manpower focused. Large fun, people's war. A little different. Wait, what? Polish National Republic, what the heck? I understand why they have carrier borne fighters and then attack aircraft and then these small ones. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Carrier base attack, craft 40. Well, at least we're making one motorized, one torpedo bomber. Better than nothing, I guess. Oh. What the heck? That's not very historical now, is it? This is very not historical now. What the heck? It's a very early Barbarossa. Or early one. Maybe not very early, but quite early. Jesus. How many ships do they have in their navy? This A's, Arsenal Democracy. Let's look at this one. Can you see any volunteers? Nope, we're still not allowed to. What the heck? Joanna Wakes. Um, I guess I'm directing to get navally bombed at Pearl Harbor. Can I send you anything? They definitely send Natasha here. Oh god, are you kidding me? Bro. Bro. To make no sense, man. Hmm. We just need so much of everything. Very weird. Uh oh. Man, with partial mobilization, we're already there. Helps in unemployment a little bit. Soviet Union didn't even get taken out of the Baltic states. They're still fighting the Finns. Inevitable war must be paid. Arsenal democracy. The improved torpedo bomber. The wasps. Um. Torpedo bomber, nineteen forties.
There you go. New York Town. Well, we're working on it. Um, I doesn't read about that one. Maybe pro war propaganda, U.S. ace projects, rearm the military, complete defense against aggression, huh? Easy hand maneuvers. Oh, we'll read about that after we get this one done too. Gator base forties. Gator base, gator base, gator base. Nice. Well, we're doing well in planes, ish, ish. Doing okay, industry ish. Still can't say anything to people. They like us a lot better now. Why? Why? Why would they tell us not to help them out? I do not understand. At least we're not in isolationism anymore. Oh, we need to be a warmonger? Oh, we can go to cooperation. Well, There's more political power, too. Holy crap. Interventionism. Mm. I don't know. I still like having some political power. Well, let's make some money first, I guess. Don't hurt ourselves too much. And do we have anything else here? No? I might. Off screen, I might just tab over to see what's going on between Germany and the Soviet Union, because it's kind of. going a little crazy here. That's a lot of losses already. That's a ton of losses, actually. How many have the USSR lost? Not bad. And no one wants volunteers. We're not allowed to send volunteers. And I guess we'll never get the event about the arsenal of democracy, so. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see if we can get involved in the war. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.